gonna show you guys a quick fix on how to stop the surging on a Westinghouse generator that should work on any generator that has what I'm gonna show you. Okay guys, so we got a bit of a surging issue on this brand new Westinghouse which is just a little bit of bad gas in it. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna evacuate all the fuel into an empty gas can. I'm gonna use one of these $10 pumps here. They're really good. You can get them at Harbor Freight, Walmart, anywhere in Northern Tool, Amazon. I'll probably put a link for you guys if you guys wanna get one of these pumps. They are really cheap and they're really good. So like I said, first thing we're gonna do is just gonna evacuate the fuel. Look how fast that is. And it is yellow. Now when it comes to bad fuel in your small engine, if you guys want to get rid of it, anybody will take it. But you guys can put it in your car. It's not gonna hurt nothing in your car. So, like I said, we just want to evacuate as much as we can and then fill it with some fresh gas. And then I'm going to show you guys a quick trip on the carburetor. And these things have a lot, these generators have a lot of gas in them, so when it goes bad, you know, it's best just to get it out. And then turn it off. And there we go. That gas has been evacuated. Now, before I put fresh gas in there, we're going to go over to the carburetor and we're going to show you guys a quick trip. Put some gas in there and then see how it sounds. Guys, here's the carburetor. It's hard to see what I'm going to work on with these tubes in the way. So you don't have to do this. But I'm just going to remove these tubes here just to show you guys where I'm at, where I'm working. Right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to unscrew this all the way out. Oh, there went my tube. I'm trying to get out of my way. You know what? I'll just pull it all the way out. Not going to hurt nothing. And then I'll move this up and around the spark plug. There we go. Now you guys can see a lot better of what I'm working on. So just remove your idle. And now, anyone that any kind of carburetor that has this and it's surging, I guarantee it's right here. And you could do this without taking the carburetor off. It feels a little warm. Nothing to be too worried about. So now you take your kind of carburetor cleaner and you're going to spray into here. Cover one finger, one hole with one finger, insert the red tube in the other, back it out a little bit and see how you see that coming out. So we cleared out if anything was blocking the pilot jet. Now we're just going to spray up in here. And you can tell this thing has brand new gaskets, so it's not the gaskets, it's not getting too much air. So now from there, you're going to take one of your brushes, if I can get my brushes out. I always have a link to these brushes in the description down below. And the good thing about these is they can bend a little bit. So you want to get in there and there's a little hole that goes straight down. Try to clean that out. There's one that goes over. Most of the time you might not be able to get to that one, but we're just doing this real quick just to see if we can't fix our problem. We'll go ahead and run it through here. Now we'll go ahead and put that back in. Just press it down. Put the extra cap back on there. Now put the idle back in. And most of the time on these, you will adjust it afterwards. So we'll adjust it after we try to start this thing. And just make sure we get it right where it doesn't sound too bad. So we're going to go back in. Most of the time this is the reason why it surges. Is because of this pilot idle jet thing right here. And this is pretty standard on most newer carburetors nowadays. So 90% the carburetor you're working on has this. We'll go ahead and reinsert the tube here. I'm not really worried about the zip tie not gonna kill nothing not being back zip tied and we'll shove it back in the hole we'll undo that there we go there we go if we have to we'll put a new zip tie or we'll just re-thread it back through the old one but main thing is now I want to check and see how it sounds now that we got all that done so let me move you over here real quick flatten you out well, you know what I'll just lift you up Now 
Okay, now I'm gonna put some fresh gas in there and let it go into the carburetor because the fuel is on. So and then we listen to it for about three minutes and see if it smooths out. So let me go ahead and put some fresh gas in there. Okay, actually, to be honest, another way you guys can put fresh gas in this is get your fresh gas gas tank, put your pump in there, and pump that fresh gas. Now look at that tube now. You see how clear it is? Because that's all fresh gas. So instead of making a mess like I did, just use your pump. So like I said, we don't need to fill it, so... So let me finish wiping and now let's try to start it. Ready? Here we go. Make sure that wasn't a fluke. This time now I'm gonna pull start it. Now I might have to And there we go, ladies and gentlemen, that fixed our problem. Okay, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. You know, we fixed um, this generator. I came here with surging just from a little bit of bad gas. So we evacuated the gas on it, and we cleaned out the pilot, the idle jet, and now it runs pretty smooth, pretty darn smooth. We're going to start it here again in just one minute. Um, but if you guys, this video helped you out, and you guys had a surging problem, and this fixed it, I'd appreciate if you guys smash the like button, hit that subscribe button, it really helped me out. And um, without further ado guys, this is the end of the video, but if you guys want to hear it start one more time, here it is. <laughs>